Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Here outside the Shamrock Rovers Talla Stadium for Shamrock Rovers versus Dundalk Town. Johnny, what are your predictions for the game? Oh, it's a difficult, a difficult one to call, isn't it? Really, it's strange. We've spoken to both sets of supporters now at this rate, and nobody's confident. Uh, yeah. A lot of people are predicting draws and all that. I'm probably going to continue with a draw as well. I think a, maybe a two-two draw. Uh, both teams can't really afford to, to win this, so uh, losing. yeah. Well, sorry, even even can't afford to lose. But um, yeah, no, I'm going for a two-two draw. Yeah, I don't, I don't see um, both teams, uh, you know, coming out and, and not going for because. Happen. Either way, if, if they don't get a result here, you know it's it's going to be massive throughout the season because they're they're going to be coming from uh, very pretty much digging a hole from the start. So we can't really afford that. No, and team. You, you look at Cork pulling away as well. You're like, neither team can afford a, a five point lead to, to go. Slip up, yeah, yeah. A slip up. Yeah. So it, it's it's going to be an interesting battle. Like as you said, it should, it should make for a very good game of football now with just the fact that both teams really have to go for it. And uh, look, we'll see what entails. Yeah, uh, outside the Tallis Stadium with some Dundalk fans. How do you think the game is going to go? Uh, it'll be pretty tight. Uh, fancy the dog that's naked by the odd goal. Oh, who's going to get the goal? Marco. Marco. You hear the hair first. <laughs> what about you lads over here? Um, What's your name? Jordan. Uh, Jordan. I'm hoping for a more convincing game than against the likes of Bray, you know, uh, but you can't underestimate Rovers. So. Bit to see, like, it's, almost, it's almost become a situation where, in a strange way, I know it's only the second game of the season, where it's almost must win for both, both teams really, isn't it? Yeah, it's a six pointer. Yeah. Yeah, it is called Mr. Cork win and we lose, it's five points confident already. For, confident for tonight? No. No, no. no. <laughs> no. One, nil, one nil Rovers. One nil Rovers, Jesus. Jordan, your prediction? Uh, two on Dundalk. And, and yourself? Dundalk, uh, yeah, I think Dundalk will win 3-1, but Rovers will give us a proper game. They always raise their game, but 3-1 Dundalk. All right, lads, best of luck. Enjoy the game. Right. Uh, hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're here outside the Tallis Stadium. Uh, atmosphere is starting to pick up a bit now. A couple of minutes before kickoff. Uh, joined by Jerry and uh, some of the crew here, some Rovers fans. Confident for tonight? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we got a, we got a, got three points after last week's poor performance away from Bows. So we just have to come out of the blocks, and uh, I think we've we got enough to beat them. So fingers crossed. Yeah, and it's funny. I was just I just speaking to some of the dog fans uh, just before before you come on here, uh, and, and in a weird type of way, it's almost must win for both set of teams. I know it's only the second game of the season, yeah. but it, it's almost most, both teams have had disappointing results to start the season, and yeah. you know you don't want to lose to two big rivals two games in a row, do you? All, all of a sudden, pressure comes on. Absolutely. I mean, Dundalk uh, dropped two points at home to Bray last week, so indeed, yeah. they dropped more points again tonight, and the pressure's on. You know, absolutely. Uh, they've got, they got a lot of new players trying to gel absolutely, in. Absolutely. Yeah. I think the, the buzzword all week was kind of international clearance, wasn't it? Really, with, yeah. the, with the new signings, Calvin. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Probably going to play left back by all, by all accounts, and to uh, knock of a couple of new signings as well. Uh, prediction for the for the game? Hopefully, two one Rovers. It'll be Rovers. very very tight. Uh, hopefully, we'll nick it in the end. Two, two one Rovers. And how about over here? Any predictions? Two nil Rovers. Two nil Rovers and Rovers win. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, folks. Thanks very much. Hey, what's your name? Jack. Jack. Thanks for coming on. Uh, what are your predictions for the game? I don't know. It depends on the. Uh, how we play, uh, really. You know, Ron Finn, if he shows up, you know, one of the best ballers in the league and ourself. Um, if our nice goal he scored last week. Yeah, it got well. Uh, Graham Burke with that voice. Yeah, I would like to see that go in now, uh, to be honest, against Bowers. But uh, if our defence shows up like it showed up last game for the first half, the like first 60 minutes, I think we should put it up to them, maybe get a, get an early goal and sit back. But I'll go with a 1 1 just because it's done dark, you know, winning four in the last five leagues. So. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say for Rovers now after losing to Bowles, they can't afford to drop any more points if they want to mount a yeah, title run. You know? I think Cork are very strong this year. It's play, you show what, what champions are made of when they come back and score that 90 minute goal out of 10 men against against past last week. So, yeah, you know, hopefully we, I'll take a draw, but I'd love to get a win. Obviously, it's good to get a win against Dundalk. It boosts the spirits after that loss against Bowles. So, if we get a win, I'll be very happy, but I'll take a one on. Okay, well, best of luck for the best game. Luck. Thanks very much.